Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, 25 years passed already since the beginning of AIDS and HIV epidemics. 25 million people died from AIDS and HIV infection worldwide, but we still are far away to conquer this epidemic. Unfortunately, unbeknown to most of us, there is another, even larger epidemic which is looming on the horizon. This is the coming pandemic of liver cancer. Uh, this is a serious threat to us, and the facts are speaking for themselves. This epidemic can wipe out 50 million people worldwide in our lifetimes, twice as many at least as AIDS and HIV infection. What I would like to do today is to talk briefly about epidemiology and uh, mechanisms of the disease of hepatocellular carcinoma or liver cancer. Also, I would like to talk about more positive things. I don't want you to be depressed for coming holidays that so many people may die from this disease. I would like also to give you good news that it is possible even today to effectively treat advanced liver cancer and to prevent the coming epidemics. But we have to act soon because this is a ticking time bomb. Until recently, liver cancer was a rare disease. I remember when I practiced medicine about 10 years ago, I was seeing such patients, perhaps only one patient a year, but not anymore. Now I am seeing such patients every month. This is no longer the cancer of the other people, of the Oriental people. This is rapidly becoming a major killer in the United States and worldwide. This year, liver cancer will be the second largest killer, cancer killer in the world, with over 600,000 people who will die this year from liver cancer. It will easily surpass colorectal cancer and will be only second to lung cancer. But uh, this is, as I mentioned, no longer the disease which occurs in Southeast Asia, in China, in Sub-Saharan Africa. Now, there is substantially increasing number of the patients who suffer from liver cancer in Europe and the United States. If we look at the statistics, then we find out that uh, the incidence of liver cancer in the United States is growing exponentially. And now, this year, it is suspected that 20,000 people will die in the United States from liver cancer, but in uh, the next five to eight years, 50,000 people will die in the United States from liver cancer, and then it will become the second largest cancer killer in the United States. It is no longer the disease of Oriental ethnic minority. Now, the rate of incidence among new cases of liver cancer in the United States is about three times as high in white Caucasian population and in about five times as high as in Oriental population in African American population. Why it happens this way? Well, we have to understand that the main cause of liver cancer is hepatitis B virus. According to some estimations, some statistics, there are as many as 2 billion people worldwide who were infected with HBV or hepatitis B virus or who currently have chronic infection of HBV. This is about one-third of the entire human population of the world. And uh, if there are so many people who were infected or who currently have chronic hepatitis, then we have to realize that over half a billion people have already chronic hepatitis. In China alone, there are about 300 million people, not 1,000, 300 million people who have chronic hepatitis B. And this is going to produce half, uh, about 50 million cases of liver cancer in the near future. 50 million cases 
worldwide will contract liver cancer. And that these are simply statistics. These are the facts. It is scientifically established that 2 million people who contracted hepatitis B in the past, or who currently have active infection, will produce 50 million people who suffer from the liver cancer. The bump is ticking already. Some of these people were infected 30 years ago, some of them 10 years ago, some of them a year ago, some of them yesterday. But the fact is that those who have chronic hepatitis, this population already is going to produce 50 million people suffering from liver cancer worldwide. And currently, liver cancer is carrying 97% mortality. And there is no treatment which will effectively treat this disease except for liver transplant in some cases. But the obvious question is how many people can you treat with liver transplantation? Not 50 million. This means that in the near future, we may face the disaster of the proportion which the history have never seen. About 50 million people may die from liver cancer worldwide. What is hepatitis B virus? Well, we can call this quote unquote the wonder of nanotechnology. It's a very tiny virus, about 40 nanometers in diameter. It consists of double-stranded DNA and the protein forming 22 nanometers particles and tubules. It's 100 times more infectious than HIV virus. And that's very important because it can survive in the drop of dry blood at least a week. It can be transmitted through the needles, it can be transmitted from uh, sexual, through sexual contact, it can be transmitted from mother to child, it can be transmitted through health care providers, and even simple procedure, cosmetic procedures, like for instance, medicure or pedicure, resulted in numerous cases of hepatitis B in Europe and the United States. So this is a very tough infection to deal with.